Okay, here's everything that happened in medicine. Healthcare today, and it is October 28th. Starting us off, a new Gallup poll finds that American obesity rate has dropped from almost 40% to 37% in just the last three years. This comes right around the same time with the rise in things like Ozempic and GLP-1 drugs from 5.8% in 2024, all the way up to 12.4% in 2025. A new Frontier article looked at some of ChatGPT's logs and found that hundreds of thousands of individuals are suffering from mental health crises per week. 0.15% of all the chat logs talked about suicidal intent or thoughts, which ended up being about 2.4 million people per week. Before we get into the last two studies, if you want to stay up to date with the latest medical and healthcare news, you can find the link in my bio to my Substack. You'll get a daily email with all of the analysis for these studies and the links to them as well. Or if you want to help support the page, there's some links is there as well. A major Nature article looked at how exercise affects heart disease, specifically between the male and female sexes. The crazy part was that they found that women to get a 30% reduction in their coronary heart disease risk required about 250 minutes of exercise per week. But when it came to the men, they required almost double that to get the same 30% reduction. And lastly, a new study out of a UK biobank that looked at individuals who were taking 8,000 steps or less per day, and here's what they found. They found that those that were taking frequent but short walks, like less than five minutes, had a mortality rate of about 4.3 per sex, but those who were actually taking walks that were longer than 15 minutes had a mortality rate of about 0.8%. That's all the last of the news for today. I will see you tomorrow to go over what happened on Wednesday. I will see you tomorrow for the rest of the news. For anyone who hears how school is going, I cut my finger last night and it refuses to not stop bleeding and I got patio furniture.